New with this update is the ability to create composite curves. A composite curve is a single curve created from several different selections. This means you can select a series of lines and arcs, edges of a part or surface, or other curves, or any combination of these, and turn them into a single curve. This is particularly useful in commands like loft. In this example, I'm lofting between three profiles. And I want to use these lines and arcs as guides controlling the shape of my loft. Right now, they're all a part of the same sketch, which means I cannot select them as a single guide from the feature list, and I cannot select them individually by left-clicking each piece of the guide and then graphics. However, it's easy to select a composite curve from the toolbar, select the lines and arcs that make up one of my guides, and click OK. You'll see a new curve is created based on the lines and arcs I selected. Now I can create my loft and select the curve from the feature list as my guide. Another example where composite curve is useful is when lofting surfaces. In this example, I want to loft between these two arcs and the two edges of a previous loft. I can use the composite curve command to create a single curve from the two arcs and I can create another composite curve from the two edges of the previous loft. Now I can create a surface loft between those two curves. One last thing to mention, in an example like this where I'm referencing edges of a loft to create a composite curve, the loft command in Onshape is intelligent enough to know the composite curve you selected comes from the edges of a surface. So you can choose in conditions like match tangent or match curvature, and Onshape will match the geometry referenced in the curve. 